Um, so a couple of things. Uh, but at the top of this list, and it relates to my thought about aliens wondering if we are intelligent by their standards, or are we just blithering, drooling idiots? Are we today what worms are to us, for example? I, I think about that all the time. <coughs> and while I'm doing so, I'm left wondering, are we smart enough to figure out the universe at all? Yes, we've made some progress. You know, we have the universal law of gravitation, quantum physics, and there are things that we understand well enough to predict with precision and shape our civilization based on that knowledge and understanding of the phenomena. That's one, that's a beautiful thing. But could it be that we have just discovered, for example, in dark matter and dark energy, something about the universe that our intellect is simply <coughs> incapable of understanding? And, I, and, and, and is that so hard to reflect upon? Let's take the closest species to humans, which would be chimpanzees, basically, okay? We have 98 plus percent DNA in common, identical DNA. Everything that distinguishes us from chimps is to be found in that 2% DNA. That now, your urge, because we're hubris, we hubristic humans, your urge will say, what a difference that makes! I know it's only 2% DNA, but what? That's a big difference! <laughs> the chimp swings from branches, yet we have poetry and music and the Hubble telescope and philosophy. Look how far we are from chimps. And for example, can, can you teach a chimp the times table, much less trigonometry? We pretty much agree that's impossible. <laughs> And this is sort of entry-level mathematics. So there are things in this world that a chimp will never understand, ever. Will a chimp understand electricity? How do we didn't even understand electricity until the 1800s. It was like God sending lightning bolts down to destroy you. All right, until we learned what it's made of and how to control it and how to hit a, a lightning Thing and, and have it come through your wall socket. So there are things in our world that we understand and no other species understands, even one that's really close to us genetically. So I imagine some other species, 2% beyond us, in all the ways that we are 2% beyond the chimp. Just 2%. What would that species know and understand? What does the smartest chimp do? Well, it stacks boxes to reach a banana. It might put up an umbrella. It could use rudimentary sign language to communicate. Our toddlers do that. Our toddlers do what the smartest chimps can do. So I think to myself, what are we to this 2% species beyond us? Is the smartest among us what their toddlers can do? If we existed in their world, would they roll Stephen Hawking forward and say, this one is slightly smarter than the rest because <laughs> he can do astrophysics calculations in his head? Like little Timmy over here who just came back from preschool? <laughs> I wonder if our greatest strokes of brilliance are trivial matters of thought to a higher intelligence. And I wonder what are the challenges of the universe that they <coughs> confront and that they wonder whether or not they're hard. And I find it humbling to think this way. You, you, you walk out of your, you, you think that way because you didn't sleep. You, you wake up and you, you go out the next morning 
and you just say, all I can do is the best I can and bask in the majesty of the mysteries of the cosmos. Mm. Wondering if one day you'll ever decode it. Hoping, perhaps, as I do, that one day we'll meet aliens who already have. I'm wondering if they've got jetpacks. <laughs> <laughs> you want jetpacks?